the superstar known as Buzz is here. Making his way to the ring from Detroit, weighing in at 250 pounds. Is it me or is this guy's 15 minutes of Phoenix Fire? Uh, I think it's just you because, Joe just like Dixon. a good mattress, Buzz's success seemingly has no expiration date. Is that why our chairs have bed bugs, Saxton? trembling with each step. I would do anything not to get stuck inside the ring with Braun Strowman. Oh, Byron, I would pay all of my bank account to watch you get these hands. No, quiet, quiet. I don't want them to hear you. Hey, Michael, remember that time he threw you around? <laughs> yeah, Byron, because I'm a man and I stand up for myself. I don't run away and hide in the locker room like a little girl. I remember things. Two men, I don't think there's going to be anything traditional about this one-on-one -on -one matchup. The monster among men doesn't ask for permission nor ask for forgiveness. He simply destroys whatever lays in his path. Two. Braun Strowman is a leviathan, Saxton, and sports entertainment has never Three. experienced brute force like this from one human being. Fine forearm. I think we're about to see a high-risk move from the top rope. All the way, what impact. Faltering some. With these two guys, we all knew this was going to be an all out battle. Is that a move? Nice rushing leg sweep. Strowman, Corey, I'd say the Monster Among Men has become the most destructive WWE superstar in history and in short order. Yeah, Braun Strowman definitely takes inflicting pain to a whole new level, but he's fine with destroying inanimate objects, too, especially vehicles. Wow! Elbow! Wow. What does Braun Strowman need to do now to remain a factor in this match? Looks to me like he's starting to feel the pressure, guys. Two foot. Look at the vertical suplex. Nice. One, two. He's got some fight left in him. Definitely has his work cut out for him.
what a forearm. He's docking his opponent from the top turnbuckle. Whoa. Oh boy, he is rolling. We've got a cover. Oh. Dug down deep and gets the shoulder up. Look at the look on his opponent's face, Cole. He can't believe it. He's always had the ability to take it up a notch. What is the oh, clothesline? He's got the shoulders down. And he's able to get the shoulder up. Wow, that's pure power, guys. What does Buzz have in store? Harsh impact. Oh. <laughs> Nicely done as he gets out of the submission. Call me surprised, Michael. I didn't. Nice. Beautiful Charlotte's web. This guy just refuses to quit. That's all right, Cole. Oh, and a terrific reversal by Braun Strowman. And that one grounds him. I didn't realize he had such a glass jaw. And he's taken down with authority. I think I felt the ground shake on that one. Beautiful technique. Oh, my face for three and I don't like the look in his eye here, folks. Look out! Oh, what a crash! Look out, there he goes! Knocked right off his feet! And here's the monster along the end, Corey! Look at the power! Hellacious power slam! Not today. Roll through. Two. Barely at two and a half. I'm just as shocked as everyone else, Cole. His opponent included. Too quick for him there. This is what makes him one of the best in the business. this given that there is probably no good answer but Corey how do you beat Braun Strowman well you're right Cole that is a silly question because there's no blueprint when it comes to defeating a monster like Braun Strowman the best advice I would give I guess is try to chop him down to size guys it's imperative he gets back in the ring yeah otherwise he's looking at a count out back now inside the ring Pressed to see a better match than that. Here's another look. These superstars gave as good as they got, and these fans got their money's worth from the opening bell. Look at him go. That's what I love about the WWE, a match that lives up to expectations, but still finds a way to surprise us. Good stuff. Tough to top that one, folks. We were lucky to be here to witness a match filled with technical prowess, amazing moves, and seemingly non-stop action. Here is your winner, 
Joe Dixon. Took it to another level to gain that win. Wow, when you pick up a pinfall victory over somebody like that, you've done something right. And that'll do it here for this one-on-one -on -one match. I hope you enjoyed it as much as this live crowd appears to have enjoyed it. Take a look at that. Looks good, doesn't it? But well, let's be honest. That didn't look very good for me at the Elimination Chamber. Because thanks to Triple H doing everything in his power to hold me down yet again, not only did I have to defeat Braun Strowman, I had to do it in an Elimination Chamber match against five other superstars where I had to enter first with the Monster Among Men. But despite all of that, I overcame the odds and stand here as your new Universal Champion! So, what's next? Well, here we go again. Buzz can't catch a break. I hate to admit it, but what you said is true. I have done everything in my power to keep this moment from happening, and it didn't work. But. I wouldn't be where I am if I didn't have a plan B. Or C, or D, or E. You see, I have done everything in my power to stop you except for bringing back the most powerful force in sports entertainment. So you've left me with no choice. It's time for plan E. It's time for evolution. is back. This is not good for Buzz. Triple H has sent a powerful message to Buzz that he will go to any lengths to destroy his career. After what Evolution did to Buzz tonight, it might already be destroyed.
We've been wondering all week how Buzz would respond to Evolution's attack, and it looks like we're about to Sir, find I'm out. Sir, I'm going to have to ask you to stop right there. You think we're playing here? I don't want to have to hurt you. Ow! After the beating he took last week, he'd be better off staying on the bus. Knowing this guy, I don't think that's going to happen. Is Evolution even inside that limo? I don't know, but it looks like Buzz is determined to find out. Triple H from behind with a sledgehammer. Set it up. starting to fade. He's still got plenty of gas left in his tank, though. Uh, Straight right to the mouth. Vicious strike. Oh, Buzz just barely got out of the way. What does Buzz have in store? We got a harsh impact. Attack buzz from behind. We should have known these two would get involved. This certainly looks like a setup now. Oh no. Buzz is trapped in there. This is taking things way too far. No, no, no. We need some medical help back there immediately. It's going to take a lot of work to just get him out of the limo. I can't believe Triple H and Evolution resorted to something like this. Welcome to Monday Night Raw, where if you missed the updates on social media throughout the week, 
We're happy to inform you that Buzz miraculously escaped last week's limo crash without suffering any major injuries. He may not have suffered any serious injuries, but our Universal Champion looks nowhere near 100% after what Evolution did last week. He's in no condition to be out here. He should have just stayed home to recover. I don't think that's in his DNA. Well, then he needs a gene transplant. Now, I'm not out here to make some long speech about everything Triple H has done to me this past year. No. I'm only out here for one thing tonight. Revenge. Evolution. I know you're back there. And I'm not leaving this ring until you come out and face me. I gotta hand it to you, Buzz. You are resilient. I mean, you survived a high-speed limo crash, and the very next week, you're right back out here looking for a fight. But it seems that for all the guts you have, you're a bit lacking in the intelligence department. Because if you haven't noticed, we have a three-on-one advantage, and I think we all know from the last couple of weeks how that's going to turn out. You know, I may be a bit stubborn sometimes, but I'm not stupid. If anything, Triple H, you've taught me that I can't always do everything on my own. So that's why I decided to even the playing field just a little bit. We saw Buzz team up with Finn Balor in his battles against Bray Wyatt, and now Finn is here once again to have his back. Okay, so you have one other guy. Big deal. We still outnumber you. It's AJ Styles from SmackDown Live! What's he doing here? Obviously, Buzz reached out for backup. Now I'd say it's a little more even. You should know this is far from over. At WWE Fastlane, it will be Evolution versus the three of you. Wow, that is a match I never thought we'd see. Yeah, that is a dream match if there ever was one. There are the three men who will team tonight to take on the reunited Evolution. It's going to be quite the challenge for the new group, the Buzzkills. Well, did you come up with that name, Byron? No, I can't take credit for that. Well, I wouldn't want to either. I've been part of clubs before, so I know about their weaknesses. There's always one or two members looking out for themselves, so we can exploit that tonight and defeat Evolution. <laughs> Knowing those guys? All of them. I don't care about all that. Besides, if Triple H wasn't going for you, he'd be coming after me or Finn. So all that matters is we put an end to this power trip tonight.
hey, it just goes to show you never know what will happen. So you need to be prepared for anything. Same goes for tonight. Making his way to the ring at a combined weight of 658 pounds, Joe Dixon, the phenomenal AJ Styles, and Finn Balor. I caught up with Buzz earlier today, and he told me about the time he skipped school to attend a WWE event. That's how passionate he was, and still is, about sports entertainment. When he said he skipped school, did he mean all of it? I mean, that's the vibe I got. You are looking at perhaps the most decorated faction in WWE history. A representation of the past, the present, and the future of WWE. Led by Triple H, flanked by Randy Orton and the animal, Batista. Yeah, in many ways, uh, a once-in-a-lifetime collection of talented Hall of Fame-worthy superstars all under the banner of one stable. A united front that is near unstoppable.
This is it for the past year. Triple H has tried just about everything to prevent Buzz from making it to the top of WWE. And now he's down to his last resort. Who will win their final battle tonight? Evolution or the newly formed Buzz Kills? We're about to find out. think that was a good idea. successful tag team competitor. And right now, he resembles more of a finger paint. If things don't change in a hurry, this has all the makings of a short evening for him. Bringing it back between the ropes. Beautiful technique. This 
This is dangerous right here. Triple H was trained by WWE Hall of Famer Killer Kowalski and made his debut in 19... He wants it one more time. This might be it! Oh, my! This is it. Big slam. Triple H knows about making history. Here he goes. Here we go a second time. situation here as Corey alluded to earlier but it's also an opportunity to walk out of here tonight as the ultimate hero for your team but as you know Michael fending off multiple superstars at this point in the match would be no easy task I don't care how good you are oh man what a hit knocked right off the ankle You know what this is? It's a stampede! Well, he got him. 
Let's look at this again. His shoulders are down. Uh, oh, just a devastating elbow. You can't teach the type of tenacity we're witnessing here. Unreal. Man, even now in the shape he's in, Rick, here we go. This might not have been a wise move for him here, Michael. is the hole. Wow. Part of me thought that was it, Cole. Knee drop. That was nasty. So precise. decision here, Corey. I don't know. I kind of like it. He clearly wants to inflict some more punishment. Corey, Finn Balor's shoulder injury has been well documented. Separated torn labor and then put Finn out of action for seven months. Yeah, it did. And now it's a huge target for any of Finn's competition. Any game plan devised to go up against Balor should be centered around tripling his surgically repaired right shoulder. Irish whip! Shot into a right. Uh oh, they're not done. Trying to be up and nailed it. Recognizing the game plan Corey devised, it's easier said than done to even catch Finn for long enough to apply that pressure to the shoulder. I would agree with the both of you. Any superstar that has an injury in their past will always have a bullseye on it. But they know that, and it becomes their job to defend against the win. Two. Dug down deep and gets the shoulder up. The apex predator stays in the hunt with that kick out. Randy Orton just slips out of harm's way. The loss coming in today. I heard a lot of fans lauding this superstar for competing here tonight. According to them, it takes a lot of guts to compete Ooh. with such an injury. Oh boy, he is yeah. oh, close line. What does Buzz have in store? We're, We're about to find out. Oh, he's going to do it. Injuries definitely are a storyline to keep an eye on during this match, but so far, there does not appear to be anything really slowing this superstar. Oh, what impact. Oh, AJ Styles may have it. Cover here. Randy Orton has been eliminated. What a six-man tag match. 
Now let's take another look at these guys in action. Every single minute of this one was memorable. Triple H threw everything he could at the buzz kills, but in the end, it wasn't enough. If that was truly Triple H's last ditch effort to stop Buzz, then this has to be quite the relief for Buzz to not have to be constantly. Wait, wait, wait! I don't understand. These three were just celebrating a huge victory, and now this? Oshi Garoshi! What happened? Don't do this. Tough no! no! Don't do this! That's what happened. AJ Styles is cashing in his Money in the Bank contract. Just when Buzz thought he had friends he could trust. Here's the cover by Mr. Money in the Bank. Incredible. I, I, I can't believe what we just saw. Was nothing short of highway robbery. This is sickening. AJ Styles told Buzz he needed to be prepared for anything to happen tonight, but nobody was expecting this. Was that some kind of warning? I have no idea. Making his way to the ring from Detroit, weighing in at 250 pounds, Joe Dixon. There's been a lot of coverage on Buzz's falling out with Baron Blade, but less is known about Buzz's other mentor, his father. I do know, however, that Buzz has an old saved voicemail from him that he uses as motivation before his matches. Saxton, have you been snooping through people's phones again? No, Buzz told me about it, I swear. One of the most 
most incredible athletes to ever step foot in Monday Night Raw. Finn Balor, first ever Universal Champion. A bona fide superstar the world over. Finn Balor seems to get better, faster, stronger, and more dangerous every single week in WWE. Guys, if you are looking for a billboard example of a superstar who has it, who has... This should be an incredible matchup. I mean, both men have extensive offensive repertoires, lasting endurance, and an insatiable appetite to be number one. And man, I never get tired of watching these guys compete. Finn Balor is in action, and I can see a lot of Balor Club members here tonight. Oh, man. All right, could you do me a favor and point them out? I just want to know who to avoid after the show tonight. Beautiful technique. We know Finn Balor has gained a huge following around the world. It's hard not to get swept up by this young man's extraordinary talent. After every match, more and more of the WWE Universe become members of Balor Club. Ooh. Things not looking great for Finn Balor. We all know, though, this guy has plenty of fight left in him. Ooh-wee. Set him up with Russian leg sweep. Michael, forget about Finn gaining his fans after the match. Judging by this crowd during his entrance, I would say the Balor Cub is for everyone. Can someone be a good brother and give me a two-sweet? Oh, my God, Saxon. I've told you how many times you are banned from doing that hand gesture. Your privileges of the Balor Club have been revoked. And if you keep it up, your privileges as a commentator are going to be revoked, too. Hey. Drop kick. Also, Byron Charles Schultz I hates you. Drop kick. <laughs> Slam with authority. Oh boy, he is rolling. This could be it. What do you think Ballon needs to focus on right now? You have to wonder if he could recover from this, guys. That confidence he had on his face at the start of this match sure has disappeared, and with good reason. He's taken quite a beating. Guys, I wasn't anticipating this type of performance for him tonight. He's starting to look a little lost in there right now. He's on the ropes, and the ref wisely stops the count. Eludes that one. Big trouble for Finn Balor. Snap suplex. Very nice. He's in full control now. Look out here. Oh, boy, he is rolling. Son Penny predicament. And he gets the shoulder up. Balor shooting out of that pinfall like a bullet. Oh, boy, he is rolling. 
Look at that. Oh, impactful slam. performance now's a good time to look at some of the highlights from that last matchup these guys showed flashes in this match but flashes don't exactly set the world on fire as these highlights show very well Here is your winner, Joe Dixon. There's plenty of reason for celebration tonight. To get the pinfall victory over such a high-quality opponent is incredibly impressive, Michael. You're going to be hard-pressed to find action like what we just saw anywhere else, but right here on Raw. For the last couple of days, all I have heard, why, Jay? Why'd you do it? Why did you and Finn turn on Buzz? Well, it's simple. There would be no Buzz if it wasn't for me and Finn. He wouldn't have achieved anything without us. When he was on SmackDown, he used me to get to the top. He didn't beat Nakamura in the Dome in Japan. He stole it from me. He didn't beat John Cena in a submission match. He used the calf crusher that he begged me to teach him. Then when he came to Raw, he was lost without AJ. So he became my burden. I had to bail him out week after week. And I was the reason he found his inner demon. He would have never gotten past Bray Wyatt, let alone beat Braun Strowman for the Universal title if it wasn't for me. But did I get any credit? No. Then we put everything aside to help him take on evolution. And what do we get in return? Nothing. Do you see a trend here? It's always about Buzz. He gets the spotlight. He gets the credit. He gets the title shot. Not us. He was never going to give us anything. So we had to take it. Buzz. People love to rattle off all your so-called accomplishments and talk about how you have had the fastest rise in history to the top of WWE. Well, your biggest accomplishment is still to come when you main event WrestleMania and you lose to the phenomenal AJ Styles. And this time, there is no one to bail you out. You're all on your own. Yeah. The only friend he still has had his brain scrambled by Bray Wyatt and hasn't been seen since. So I don't think he'll be much help. No, he won't. Now, with that being said, I kind of figured that you people might not understand why we did what we did. So I arranged a very special guest tonight who can attest to everything I just said because Buzz selfishly used him to get to the top just like he did to us. So let's bring him out here. Ladies and gentlemen, Buzz's former mentor, Baron Blade. I don't think AJ Styles could get any lower after what he did to Buzz, but he somehow has by bringing out Baron Blade. We haven't seen or heard anything from him since he was revealed as the masked attacker in the match against Buzz in NXT. I wouldn't have shown my face anywhere after that either. He certainly looks like he's had a rough year. I think that's just how he looks. <laughs> Thanks for coming out here tonight, Baron. Can you tell everyone how Buzz used you to get to the top? 
Then he left you a broken man. I mean, he cost you everything, didn't he? No one will work with you anymore. You've lost your indie promotion, your house. All because of Buzz. That's not exactly how everything went down, AJ. I was the one who attacked Buzz after his tryout match and cost him his shot at WWE. None of that other stuff would have happened if I hadn't done that. Uh, hold on. What are you saying? Don't you want to talk about all the terrible things Buzz did to you? I mean, how he left your life in shambles? I'm sorry, but I can't stand out here and bury my former protege. Not a day goes by where I don't wish that I could take back my actions. And honestly, I deserve everything that's happened to me because of it. I didn't buy you a plane ticket so you could come out here and tell everyone how great Buzz is. This wasn't the deal we had. If I had told you how I really felt, I would have never gotten this opportunity to speak the truth. What you and Finn Balor did to Buzz was far worse than anything I did. At least I had good intentions. So I just want to say I couldn't be prouder of everything Buzz has accomplished. And I can't wait to see him beat you at WrestleMania and take back his universal title. I think I've heard just about enough out of you. to do something. Maybe there's hope for these two after all. Well, I never thought we'd see this. Hey, it takes a big man to forgive something like that. Or a foolish man. How long until Baron turns on him again? You might be wondering why Finn is out here with a gift. Well, it's not for me. It's actually for someone we had some battles with recently. No, it's not for Buzz either. His gift is coming at WrestleMania when I give him the gift of defeat. This present is actually for Triple H. So Triple H, if you wouldn't mind, come on out here so we can give this to you. What could this possibly be all about? I know it's not a birthday gift. Triple H's birthday is in July. Why would you know that? I'm a historian. I just want to say we may have had some differences recently. But that was due to being caught up in Buzz's selfishness. We have clear heads now, right, Finn? Much clearer. So just to make sure we're cool, we got you this gift. Go ahead, take it. They got him a referee shirt? We even cut off the sleeves so you can show off your guns. What's this all about? 
Well, we were thinking, since you really don't like Buzz, and we're positive you want to do everything in your power to guarantee he doesn't get the universal title, you could be the special guest referee at WrestleMania. So what do you think? I think that's a great idea. All right. Yes. You gotta be kidding me. The match at WrestleMania is essentially now going to be three on one. You think Buzz is out here to forfeit the WrestleMania match? No way. It must look pretty bad for me right now, huh? Like I've got no chance with Finn Balor on the outside and with Triple H on the inside? Well, that's where you're wrong. Because at WrestleMania, I'm not gonna be on my own. I'm gonna have someone in my corner to even the odds, to watch my back. And that man is Baron Blade. Okay, now Buzz at least has a chance. Yeah, if you can trust Baron, because if he can, it'll end up being four on one at WrestleMania. This is it, Buzz. You ready? Yeah, other than some nerves. I've wrestled on some big shows this past year, but never in front of this many people. Hey, what did I tell you when you were nervous before your WWE tryout? All that matters is the ring's the same size. Exactly. You remembered. Any other advice for me? No, I mean, the only thing I have left to say is... Thanks. For what? For everything. For forgiving me, for letting me back into your life. Look, we don't need to get into all that right now, Baron. All that's in the past. I know, but if it wasn't for our past, we wouldn't be here tonight. And it's unbelievable that we are. I'll be honest, when you first got to my wrestling school, I didn't think you would amount to very much at all. Thanks. But you worked hard and proved me wrong. And after your dad, well, I made it my mission to help you realize your potential. I just got too wrapped up in everything and your dreams became my dreams and I started living through you instead of for you. But this is your night tonight. This is about your boyhood dream and I will do everything in my power to help make that dream a reality. That really means a lot. But seriously, let's save any tears for after I win my title back, okay? Okay, deal. Hey, how about a BCW handshake for old time's sake? Uh, I don't know if I remember how to do it. I bet you do. <laughs> uh, uh. <laughs> I know what it's like to face long odds at WrestleMania. Four years ago, I had to beat Triple H just to have a chance to face Randy Orton and Batista later that night for the championship. But I walked away with the title. And I know it sounds cliche, but that just proved that anything is possible. So multiply that feeling you had watching me by 10 million, and that's how you'll feel tonight if you can pull this off. Don't even think about that. Just focus on doing the impossible. I've seen you do it before, and I know you can do it again tonight. <laughs> Any chance you're gonna call a fair match tonight?
Look, as a GM, I'm supposed to be impartial, but I'd be lying if I said I wasn't rooting for you to win tonight. Of course, no one has ever risen to the top of WWE faster than you did. You even managed to top my rookie year, and that's saying a lot. You had a minor setback losing the title to AJ, but it was a cheap attack. Tonight, you're ready. Oh, it's true. It's damn true. Tonight at WrestleMania, Buzz steps onto the grandest stage of them all to try to regain his universal title. But he won't be doing it alone. He'll have his mentor. Some would even say his father figure, Baron Blade, you, at his side. You left out turncoat, Cole. This is Baron's second chance to show his true colors, Corey. As far as I'm concerned, he only has one true color, yellow. The following contest is scheduled for one fall and is for the WWE Universal Championship. The van is back. What a WrestleMania moment! Buzz is sending a message to AJ Styles and Triple H. You can beat him down, even set him on fire, but he'll still persevere. Yeah, well, unfortunately for Buzz, fancy entrances don't win matches. The phenomenal AJ Styles. When you talk about AJ Styles, the list of accomplishments is seemingly endless. Styles, a true global superstar before arriving in WWE. But since he's been here, AJ Styles has lived up to the moniker, phenomenal. Yeah, it's crazy to think that when AJ Styles made his debut at the Royal Rumble a couple years ago, he wondered if he would even fit into WWE. But obviously, he has done more than just fit in. He has excelled at this level. Big stage, big fight. 
AJ Styles is ready. Introducing the challenger from Detroit, weighing in at 250 pounds, Joe Dixon. Introducing the champion from Gainesville, Georgia, weighing in at 218 pounds, he is the WWE Universal Champion, the Phenomenal, AJ Styles. Don't go anywhere. gets underway what kind of nerves do you think buzz might be working through this is his first time here and aj styles is a wrestlemania veteran honestly i think buzz is so fueled by anger and revenge for what aj and finn did it overrides any potential nerves or anxiety or if i were buzz i'd be more nervous that the man in my corner could turn on me at any moment Grief. Nailed it. And the slam. We've seen champions head into matches maybe a little too confident only to be picked off in the end and guys i can't help but wonder if we're gonna see that again here tonight body on body wow this could stop aj styles for a while it might but it probably won't he looks to be a little surprised right now by the looks of things i don't think he expected his opponent Aaron is a former wrestler. He can hold his own if necessary. Oh, don't be ridiculous. He got lucky. Picture perfect drop kick. Also, Byron Charles Schultz I hates you. Suplex. Ooh, what impact. Slam with authority. Now watch this. That's all right, Cole. Elbow drop, big time. Ooh. Gentlemen, AJ Styles may be out. Don't count out AJ. Big time slam, vicious.
the impact. Impact. He's left wide open here. I don't think he even realizes it. He looks dazed. This is about to get bad. Wait a minute. What? Two. Three. Four. You gotta believe this one's over. What's he doing? Five. Six. Oh, man, what a splash. Look at this. Two. What's he doing? Three. Four. Close line. Off with their head. Five. Wait a minute. Down with force. One. What? What does Buzz have in store? We're, We're about to find out. He's going to do it. <laughs> DDT. This is might have already been done, Michael. Oh, incredible combo. Looking for the win! Two, three! Yes! Takes it! Some superstars doing what they do best. Here are the highlights. He ain't playing here. Yeah, he's putting in the work. He ain't messing around. And here's a last look at this one. He did it! He did it! Against all odds, he's risen from the ashes to regain his universal title. Enjoy this moment! because your dreams are now a reality.
a sign of respect from Triple H? We have truly seen it all. I think I'm going to be sick. I know I've been critical of him in the past, but he earned every bit of this tonight through hard work and perseverance. Congratulations, Buzz.